The Russian military has launched a charm offensive and for the first time allowed Western journalists aboard warships of the Black Sea Fleet. Igor Digallo is the Russian Navy's press officer. His message to the world, we're well armed and we're prepared for all eventualities. This ship has the greatest firepower in our fleet. The Black Sea Fleet is based in Sebastopol on the Crimean Peninsula, which belongs to Ukraine. Russia has a lease on the base that expires in 2017. The Ukrainian government is not intending to renew the lease and wants to see the Russians leave. Digallo is not impressed. To leave would be the equivalent of losing a battle, a serious moral defeat. What does that mean? Sevastopol has been the home to the Russian Black Sea Fleet for ages. Many campaigns were launched from here in the past. Wars in which our fleet attained glory. The Moskva is the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. The heavy cruiser is 186 meters long and displacing some 10,000 tons has a 510-man crew. What's more, it can engage targets on land, in the sea or in the air. The Moskva and other elements of the Black Sea Fleet were involved in the recent Georgia conflict, much to the Ukrainian government's dismay. The latter now wants Russian ships put under stricter surveillance and possibly denied return to Sebastopol. We shall only do what our Commander-in-Chief orders us to do. The Ukrainian president, Yushchenko, cannot simply restrict the area in which we operate in Sevastopol. If he has wishes or demands, he must discuss them in the appropriate committees. The resolute stance of the Russian Navy goes down well with most of the Sevastopol population. Around 80% of them are Russian. After touring the naval base, we meet some of those opposed to the presence of the Russian fleet. Members of the Ukrainian Student Brotherhood say that this cartoon hits the nail on the head. They see the Crimea in the Russian sights. They hand out Russian passports here in order to consolidate their position in the Crimea. In a conflict situation, Moscow could claim the right to defend its own citizens. That's how the Russians did it in South Ossetia as well. Russia should respect Ukraine's borders. And Ukraine, we have to join NATO. Back in the center of Sebastopol, at the Russian Black Sea Fleet's headquarters. Press spokesman Digalo wants the commander to reassure Western journalists. There's no comparison between Ukraine and Georgia, not now at least. As commander of the Black Sea Fleet, I tell you there's no cause for alarm, but we do have to be prepared for all eventualities. What does that mean? We're in the armed forces and always have to be ready to respond. It sounds like a threat, but what exactly the head of the fleet means is unclear. What is clear is that the Russian government will not accept Ukraine joining NATO nor is it willing to relinquish its Sebastopol naval base.